With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is a 2 km wide river flowing with the rate of 5 km per hour. A man can swim in the still water with 10 km per hour. He wants to cross the river along the shortest path. Now find in which direction the person should be swimming. Okay, so we have let me draw the figure first. We have let's say this is the river, okay, and the person wants to cross the river along the shortest path. Means if it he is starting from point A, then the shortest path would be the path between the exactly opposite point, right? The path B, okay, this path AB will be the shortest path to cross this river. Now we have the velocity of man must be in this direction only right because he wants to swim across the shortest path now the velocity of river let's say river is flowing in this direction this is the velocity of river and this velocity of river can be represented by like this okay so now see this is the velocity of river vector now we can write the velocity of man with respect to river would be equals to velocity of man minus velocity of river right so from here the velocity of man with respect to river must come as c if we do the vector sum here okay so if we draw the vector for velocity of man with respect to river it will come in this direction like this okay. velocity of man with respect to river okay now we have to find the direction okay let it make the angle theta okay so theta is the angle as shown in the figure so we have see if i take the velocity of men equals to velocity of men with respect to river plus velocity of river vector okay so now i can write the velocity of men with respect to river in two components okay one component will be along x direction and another component will be along y direction and we also have the velocity of men with respect to river equals to 10 kilometers per hour okay 10 kilometers per hour given so we can write here along the word along the x-axis we have 10 sine theta component right 10 sine theta minus i cap okay plus we have 10 cos theta along j cap and further we have velocity of river which is in the i cap direction okay and it is equal to 5 kilometers per hour so that is 5 i cap from here we can write this has 5 minus 10 sine theta i cap plus 10 cos theta j cap okay this is the velocity of men right now for the men to cross the river by the shortest path or exactly from a to b opposite path this horizontal component of the velocity must be zero right so from here we will get 5 equal to 10 sin theta and we can write from here sin theta would be equal to 1 by and that is we can write theta must be equal to 30 degrees now generally we write the direction the direction of the person with respect to the uh, flow of the river so the direction of the man direction of the man with respect to river with respect to river or flow of river would be equal to pi by 2 plus theta right so this is 90 degree plus 30 degrees so it would be 120 degrees okay so at this angle the man must flow with respect to river in order to reach cross the river from the shortest path thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today